yeah, n now it's it's on to the uh, second stage of the single elimination. Oh, baby. So these are the, going to be the winners, I guess, eh? Yeah. We're, we're seeing uh, Lumi versus the winner versus that of the, the, the Dark Alex Shadow. Which, honestly, seeing it in play is now my favorite deck. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We got really With the Catherine, the Dark Shadow, Test of Strength, Fatal Order, everything. Yes, yes. Lumi versus Word Wielder. Round two. Oh, this is the Ginger user. This was before that. This is the, the Ginger deck versus the... Uh... Versus... What, what was Lumi playing again? Uh... It was the I first game. It was Shadow as well, wasn't it? It was like Ruin Web Spiders versus something. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you ready? I'm ready. I'm in. Alright, I'll send them off. Let's do this. Oh, it's the orb portal. The portal. With the orb. Oh, yeah, 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 right. The Orb of Desecration. That's right. Yeah. I remember now. Thanks, yeah. thanks for reminding me in chat. <laughs> All right, so we got our match going on with Portal versus Ripcraft. It's going to be that, uh, what was it? So we have the... World Wielder versus Orb. That's right, with the Orb. Prophets of Creation in his hand already. That's not what you want. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what you want. Already, POC. I mean, that that's looking pretty good for Runecraft, ironically. <laughs> do you do you really want the Prophets of Creation in your hand at turn one? I mean, for my POC deck, yes. <laughs> you do? Because I usually play the Titanic Showdown, and... Uh, I copy the yeah, POC. But then you want to turn six. If you you can all make sure that it texts from the showdown. Yeah. If it's your only but, you know, as a memer, you want all your key cards in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's overdoing it a little bit. You know what I mean? You want all three POCs in your hand as a memer. <laughs> you know what? Make your hand size twenty cards and deck your and draw your entire deck turn one. Why the fuck not? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So, is he going to do the... Okay, so he's going to be using the Insight first. Yeah, he needs cards right now. He's out of fuel. Definitely. So He's, gonna he's be probably going to play the Globe next turn. He can save the Globe for the Orb. Because yes. right now, both of them know what they're playing. They've yeah. all seen the games. Yeah, I'd rather keep the Kyoka for the Evo turn, for sure. Yeah, Kyoka is definitely going to be played on turn 4. Turn 4, 100%. <laughs> Man. But the question is, do you save the kaleidoscopic glow for the for the orb, or do you need fuel now? Ah, uh, he might use it right now to just spell boost. I would I would use the magic missile, and just pass. Oh, deal with, yeah, deal with the, one of the two ones. Yeah, sure. save, save the glow for the orb. I think you're right. Yeah. Because right now they are knowing what they are playing. Yes. So he knows that there's an orb coming, the other the other person knows that there's a ginger coming. Yeah, the puppet room's a good call here, because he wants to put out the orb of desecration next turn. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Kyoka does get a clean sweep here. Yes. Kyoka, maybe Fate's Hand as well? No, you say Fate Hand for next turn, so you spell boost that extra card. I see, I see, see. I don't really play spell boost as much, so I can't. I don't either. I just know how it works. I don't. I don't know how it works at all. <laughs> if I see a fate's hand that I can use, I'm like, all right, I can use it right now. Spend it right now. You're just like it costs ten life yeah, and so that, that's not. See, that's, I, I would have done the same thing. I would have probably used. Oh, it wait, he, he didn't do it. He he used it anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I don't so know. this is you playing the, the ginger right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's the right call, but I think using that one... Yeah, I think, I think that was nice. Now he has the option of using a magic owl as well. Yeah, but he also has the option of kaleidoscopic glowing that orb straight back. Oh, you are super right about that. If you have kaleidoscopic glow it, to draw and then magic owl, oh, so you would have a pretty bad turn for them. So uh, that's all. That's three gingers. 
<laughs> and once again, respect, they are all animated. Oh my god. I know what, what, what he's using the, <laughs> these gloves on every time he gets one. <laughs> yeah, he definitely is a world a word welder fan for sure. He's not called World Wheeler for nothing. For nothing, for sure. Okay, so now that wind blast. What is what that is wind it blast? Do? It's at ten damage. Here comes another orb of desecration. The focus for the fuel that yeah, he's two puppets are gonna see in play. That orb is going down to five already. Next turn he can pop the strings and um, submission and get that orb down to one so he can activate it in two more turns. You're right, yeah. I think he wants to do that before another uh, glow, I guess. This is... <laughs> what do you do as world wielder with this hand? I don't know, I don't know. He needs puppet bomb for sure. <laughs> now world wielder, can they do anything? Because if they fade and they're gonna mill something, and with this kind of a deck, I've played Ginger before. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with milling your card? He has all the keys in his hand, but he has you just cards. don't know. Yeah. One, two. Three. I think you would play with Wind Blast if you can and just pass. Yeah. Yeah. He's thinking here. Focus, okay. Puppet. Puppet. Maybe puppeteers, yeah. Puppets. Yeah. Maybe put out those puppets as well, yeah. Yeah, he's get, He's making sure he gets the orb next turn. Next turn, for sure. Okay, so he's setting up plays for now. But that, now. that probably was the right play. I think so. But now, the, yeah, the problem for the Runecraft, though. He's got... I would... I would not play anything. Face sand? I would not play Wind Blast here. He could use the other Wind Blast that only does one damage, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But you would need the big one for a potential Kaiser or anything like yeah. that. Because if he is somehow able to get an Evo point, that Kaiser is going to kill him. Yeah. So there co Oh! There comes the Avatar Des Desecration. He needs that does at the end of the turn. Yeah, he needs uh he needs puppet bomb I think to clear the next board or I mean turn nine I guess for the the word with while they're gingers and yeah but he only has eight play points to spend on the regular ginger I mean the new ginger he did and then means that he doesn't yeah he can't play the the world wheeler ginger yeah so I mean turn nine right he has to wait till turn nine yeah he has to wait one more turn yeah which is a free turn that the that the avatar of desecration is up. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Going for that puppet combo once again. What? Going for the single avatar? Why did he put the puppet there? He could have got two minions, right? On the board. Yeah, but he, he wanted to uh, get some burst damage off with the puppets. Because he was at 14 before, now he's at 10. Huh? Oh, right, right. It was using the inverted manipulation. I hear you now. Now, what turn is it? Is that going to be able to kill? What, next turn? No, no, I mean the avatar. Because the authoring tomorrow. Huh. Yes, that is. Wow. Okay, so he... That was Top deck. Wow, he got the puppet bomb for next turn though. This is going either way. Yeah. Now the prophetess is immune to destruction, not immune to vanish. Yeah. He can't deal with so the prophet, but he will be able to. He deal will with... be able to kill up his hand with puppets and then uh, playing the guard form golem. Oh, but he's using the puppets though. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. And he's hoping okay. for a top deck. He's hoping for a top deck next turn to get the two more damage off. Guard from Golem already? Wow. Okay, wow. This is this is going 
This game is going a lot more unexpected than thought. Okay, so we got Ginger, we got Zeus. We got two Zeus's. Zeus. Another Prophetess. And a Ginger. <laughs> okay. Okay, how is he going to deal with all that? <laughs> He's not going to go through death for damn sure with those two Definitely. Zeus's up. He's going to need that burst him. Oh, oh my! Oh my god. No, wait! That is game! <laughs> Out of nowhere! Oh my god, these turnarounds, man. These turnarounds are just amazing. I, I prepared a... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm ready to face this. Holy... Lumi is up for the best of four. Holy! <laughs> now he has submitted three decks, so he is he is going through yeah. to the next round. <laughs> He's going to the semifinals. That is that was just amazing. And world wielder. The war. I want to say some amazing games that you've brought. <laughs> that was so unexpected. <laughs> I, I'm speechless. <laughs> that turn around. I mean, he got the ginger up with everything. <laughs> he did. He had everything. He had like he had all the key cards in his hand. Yeah, from turn one, as you said. Pretty much, and yeah, you know what? Alice got it right. That is the power of pro player. Oh my god! I don't know what's gonna happen here, <laughs> but we got Havencraft versus Shadowcraft here. <laughs> They, they were crazy. both top deck legends. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That is now we're seeing crazy. both of them going for the meme. One is going straight for Dark Elders, and the other one's probably going to go all out for that pair of illusion. Did the, did the Havencraft win with the PTP last time? No, I... Oh yeah, they did. They with did the great. Garuda. With the Garuda that's against right. the Gyrtabu. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They got the Dark Alice, the Savory Bath next turn. Wow. And then hopefully drawing that Fatal Order to get everything really going. Yes. Yes. Now they have the Garuda in hand. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Top deck Fatal Order. Like, he has the key cards that he needs already, but how's he, how's he gonna uh, destroy the Dark Alice, though? That's the only difficult The Savory Slash, that's a Burial Right card. Yeah, 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 but I mean, like, once he puts out the Fatal Order, though, how is he gonna destroy the Dark Alice, right? Once he reacts. Yeah, he has to wait for his opponent. Yeah. And knowing the deck, there's not that much of four or five attack followers that they so. run. Yeah, unless they have, like, a game or something. Unless they have a death sentence or something of that nature, there's no way of destroying the Alice. Yeah, so he has the key cards, but he doesn't have... The enemy opponent doesn't have any key big minions uh, to deal with here, so it might be He a... could draw into a soul conversion of that nature, but it won't be turn 4, Alice. Uh, yeah, Unfortunately. Right. It's gonna be turn 5, I guess. A savory Slash, okay. Yeah, definitely Savory Slash. He needs that card draw. Yeah, 100%. What's he gonna get? Zalgane. Zalgane, okay. I would just put out the corpse here because it's annoying too. to deal with. I would too, for sure. Because definitely, like, knowing what you saw last time, there's probably going to be Limonia next turn. Mm -hmm. There's a hair of illusions. Oh, there it comes. That's a here it comes. Here it comes. I love that card. Straight up, straight up going for it. Yes. Yes. Following the Garuda OTK, he's probably aiming to keep that Garuda unless absolutely ne necessary. I think he's gonna keep that Garuda for sure. He needs that, uh. He needs that. I'd eat one. That's right. Yeah. Also, there is the, uh. Oh! That's for the Lurching Corpse. Oh! He can Zodiac Demon, the Dark Alice, if, if all else fails. That's right. I would eat with that for the full Mech Board and just annoy him. 
because he doesn't have that much pressure in hand. Wow. That card, when you when you evo when you evo this card, it gives you plus four plus four stats pretty much. Yeah. That's, that is amazing. What an amazing card. It is, although it does require you to have an empty board. Yes, it does. Looking at it, the Shadow plays already at 8 Shadows. I don't know if they run that many Necromancy cards, but it might be worthy to know. Why would he, why would he need uh, Necromancy score, though? PTP, he might, with the uh, with his Alice. Oh, did he have a PTP? I oh, think... that's a Demon Eater! Oh, that would work, that would work. The Fatal Order, yeah. He would need he would need to play Fatal Order now and then even Demon Eater. Interesting. He's huh? He's oh he's he's saving it for the Zodiac Demon. I see, I see. He's getting some fuel ready. Yeah. Because he can get the Starbright Deity with this test of strength to set him up for the long game. Yeah, which guess... he's probably aiming for. I guess I could Oh baby, the three BMs. Here it comes. What's it gonna be? Eidolon. Top deck Eidolon. He felt it. He knew he's gonna get that Eidolon, so he did he did that BM. Now last time he BM'd like that, he get he got the top deck Garuda. <laughs> I think he's learned his ways. The BM power is real, man. <laughs> he can clear that Eidolon with the with the Zodiac. That's a wise way to oh, say that. Oh you're right. You're right. That worked out way better than planned, probably. Oh my god, yeah, you're great. That's a really nice use of the Zodiac Eater there, for sure. Yeah, that's right. And the next one, he could play the Starbright Deity and get some real fuel going with the yeah. Test of Strength. It's Because very... he could get two. Yeah. Yeah, it's very unfortunate for the uh, the Haven Clap though, because he has three PTPs in his hand when, when he's only at 12 shadows. I mean, he's already halfway there, and we've seen what this deck can do in terms of shadow generation. Yeah, that's true, that's true, but having the Eidolon was one of the, the big parts, I think, the big factor. It was the key. Yes, it was. So not having the Eidolon for this game right now. Ooh, be. that is a Bahamut Ice Fault. Ooh, the Starbright Daddy here might be pretty nice, yes. That is perfect. That is perfect, for sure. Just play the test of strength and pass. There's no reason to waste your Eva point. Yeah. That is a hard combo to deal with. Test of strength and Dark Alice. What is he going to do? Lemodia. Lemodia. Getting those discounts ready for that for that Garuda probably. I see. Now, I want to say that we are pretty advanced memers, but the stuff that we're seeing today is absolutely amazing. <laughs> it has been. It has been insane. You know, like I was kind of, I was um. I was kind of worried first if we we're not going to be able to see any of the memes or anything because if anyone, you know, if, if no one gets the cards, we can't really get the memes, right? But it seems like it's working out, you know? I, I, I think this, this meta is way better than any we've seen before in Shadowverse. 100%. We're seeing so many different decks here. I'm just glad we're not seeing roaches. We're not seeing any um, carols. <laughs> yeah, but even in the in the world of memes, this is all different, fun. There's no competitive meme deck, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Not yet. Not There's so. nothing that stands out in this tournament that's way above all everything else. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Even that goblin deck, you know, like how did it that put up a fight? Win? It still won the goblin. Come on, dude. <laughs> It's amazing. I love it. Yeah, Even yeah. decks that we wrote off in the submission, like the Goblin, yeah, what were we gonna see? Yeah. It's fucking won! <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's fucking won! For sure, for sure. <laughs> but I think we're gonna be seeing a Bahamut this turn here. It'll be a good board removal. Yeah, but that also really counts up that shadow for the yes, Havencraft. That's true. 
Ah, uh, he's probably gonna... He might actually just put out a PTP. Oh my god. Oh my god. So... He might... Next what turn. I would do is I would discount the mech wing and play a PTP. He, he might, would oh, set up next uh, turn perfectly. Yeah, no, he might be able to do... He might be able to have 30, 30 uh, shadows at the moment. I think he has to. Oh, if he shadows. accelerates the mech wing with yeah. that Eva point to kill off, to he kill would. it off. Yeah. It's 27, 28, 29. Wait, is I think he's one off. He's one off, yeah. Unless Actually he can Evo the Garuda into he 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 has it. Yeah, he could put up the Garuda. Oh, interesting. So he's gonna keep it for next turn, I guess. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So next turn he could put out double PTPs, which will do twelve damage. And how how would you deal with PTPs if you're the shadow player? You don't have any removal for them. Yeah, you know, I thought this is gonna be Dark Alice's game with a TOS, but PTP might have this. A boom devil. A boom That's devil. huge. That's huge. That means the Bahamut can go face. Yeah. Like it can go, it can all go upstairs. You can play the test of strength to save him another turn. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> and Bahamut is going straight upstairs. Wait, is that it? Wait. This is why I run Myth Cleavers in my deck. If he evoed, if he evoed that Boom Double, he would have had e um, lethal, right? He would have. I think he would have, yeah. Uh, we, we've seen him BM before. <laughs> <laughs> we have. Oh my, oh my god. god. This is going to cost him, I think. Is this going to be too much? I think this is going to cost him the game. Uh, oh, we, got, we are going to see double PDP and a Garuda. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> but that's only 15 damage. Yeah, but he has that board, but then the Dissalganea also comes into play. We are seeing a BM and it's working out again. <laughs> right, he has a Zalganea. I mean, does he have the third? He has to play double PTP or he's going to leave the Bahamut up. Yeah, for sure. He, could, he can't double ward here. He needs that Bahamut gone. 100%. Okay, so if he gets a Zalganea, if he has the world... He, he has two Zelganes in hand. Yeah. Is, that one clears the, the Rabbit and one clears the Garuda. Zeus? That is game. That's game. <laughs> oh, <man>. Zeus? <laughs> Top what? Zeus? You're gonna... <laughs> That's a close game. Oh my god. We ended it with the top deck Zeus. I feel very unfortunate for the Hape Grand player, but... To be fair, the two Salganeas in his hand would have cleared the uh, ward as well, made Alice go face. Oh, he had I see, from... I see. You're right, you're right. Wow. That was a close game! <laughs> Solar Moon is eliminated, and Zerofi will face Lumi in the next round, in a best of three. Best of three, there we go. <laughs> wow, that was such a close game. It would, it swung, but we both said Haven's got this at yeah, one point. I did think so, yeah, for sure. I'm just like, okay, well, once he puts out the double PTP, it's going to be game. But, but, oh boy, I was wrong. Now, Izumo, I think, is from Poland or Indonesia by that flag. Really? And is Unnamed Hero actually from Japan? This might be a lot. Because if it's Japan... This might be a lot of, of, of midnight pulls for a lot of these yeah. people. Japan is like 4 in the morning or something, I think. Wait, let, let, let me Google Japan time right now. Maybe 5 in the morning? 17 hour difference? It's 4 in the morning, yes. 4 in the morning, really, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Unnamed Hero. But we got a Portocraft versus Dragoncraft. We got the Goblin versus... Harness glass, a flaming glass. I don't yeah, know. flaming glass portal. The with with the trip, they got the triple uh, sniper last time. Oh right, the triple silver. That's right. Yeah. Zetsubo shinasai. I love that. <laughs> I love Kaiser. It's one of my I favorite know. leaders. 
I, it's yeah, she's definitely my, one of my favorites, and I think Prophetess of Creation is one of my favorites too. All right, I I, I think Prophetess of Creation is. I think it's a cool idea, but I don't think she is that impactful as a leader as she is in a card. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Yeah. If you know what I mean. I, I agree with you. Like, yeah. it's, it's just another leader. Mm -hmm. Well, as a card, it is the ultimate follower, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I mean, all, all I want is a Hanzo leader, pretty much. So. <laughs> I want a Bell Ring Angel leader. I mean, we're never going to get a Bell Ring Angel anymore. We're never going to get it. <laughs> Yeah, Side game, if you're listening to this, I would pay 100 euros to get that leader. Dude, there's some people who would pay 100 euros for a bell ringer, for sure. Come on, let's get it, Side Games. Let's get it here. I even brought a special present for it today. <laughs> I mean, so many people would buy the bell ringer angel. For sure. Like, I, I think on every game you're just going to see ding dong, ding dong, ding oh, dong, God. ding yeah, dong, ding. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I guess she wouldn't really be a BM. But here we go. We got the Goblin Crew coming out for the Dragon Bath here. It's going to be there with Illyria. And that's going face. This is going to be a hard, hard uh, board for him to uh, deal with, I think. Rackham? Okay, I think I would put out the Kukuru, in my opinion, but Rackham would be nice. To be honest, too. that Goblin Leader and these Goblins are both going to be gone at turn 7 if he, can, if he just needs to hold out. Yes. Because yes. of that pro to Bahamut. Yes. He's going to deal with that one. Okay. Interesting. I draw. Okay, so I'm assuming Goblin Princess is gonna come out here. Fearing, definitely Fearing. Fearing, okay. But that's a fan for a kill. Hmm. Using those Evos for that result of the Fallen and the potential uh, Zeus. I see. Yeah. I see. Man, Already card, at 11 health. That card is too good, man. The Fear in Haven set, Wind God. Such a good card. I don't really see a play, but then again, I'm an unlimited player. <laughs> Catalina? I do like the Catalina cards, but. This is gonna I would, be hard. Catalina is cool if it was a. If it has 1 1 more stats. That way it would have been a 3 kill in a Evo form instead of a 2 shot. I agree with you, yeah. I think it should have been a 5-5, five, five, yeah. Like, if since it's only a 6-6, six, six, it can only take two damage. I mean, like, two times of three Yeah, damage. a 6-6-6, six, 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 like, a 6-4-4 four, four ward yeah. is not big But she would have been she would have been a nice kind of, like, a father refinement card, right? The one that uh, yeah. Havencraft has? The one that Haven has. Yeah. Okay, so he uses the resolve to fall here. He could have evoed the goblin earlier to get that re three play points for recovery and also get the goblin that's, emperor. That's lethal. That's lethal. That is lethal. <laughs> that is lethal. Are we actually the gonna goblin? see Are we gonna see a goblin yeah. grand finals? <laughs> Honestly, we talked so much shit about the goblin being shit at mid range. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Are we gonna Look at it. see the goblins win this tournament? Oh my god. Oh my god. Jeez, goblins. <laughs> goblins are winning, guys. That's <laughs> Who would have thought? Somebody in my chat says I look like Jesus. They're not fucking wrong. <laughs> I mean, you have the Jesus hair. You have the Jesus beard. <laughs> You have the Jesus look. Right, I'm gonna say this. I, I would have trimmed this. Yeah. But I was trying to buy a webcam just before the uh, the stream because mm -hmm. I don't have a webcam. But because of coronavirus, everyone works at home and all the webcams were sold out. So I actually drove to my mom's house and borrowed my mom's webcam. Yes. <laughs> and then I and then I, then I was like, okay, we have 20 minutes to set up the stream. Yeah. Let's wire everything up and just go for it and just. I mean, at least I took a shower before the stream. Yeah. Not like it did anything with this temperature. But you know who you remind me of, though? The South Park Jesus. 
Oh, no. I'm wearing a white shirt, don't do this to me. You seriously, like, if you start doing that finger trick, you know, like the finger cut trick, I would be like, oh my god, you're Jesus, aren't you? <laughs> seriously, you look that much like a Jesus. But here we go. We got Forcecraft versus Shadowcraft here. We got Cloud Gigas and... Wait, so this is... Is this a different deck that works here? Is this a... Uh -huh. I think we see a different deck here. Wait. But should we just let it? Oh no no no! This was the uh, the OTK with the with the shadow with the shadow reaper the the Highlander. Oh, this is a Highlander deck, right? Okay. Yeah, with the shadow reaper and the Twilight <laughs> Princess, they got the perfect OTK last time. I can't really remember. remember. I can't remember. <laughs> they got the. With the Heaven's Gate. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, with Heaven's Gate, I do remember now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They got the Twilight Princess on turn 4, and then just Evo with the... with the Colosseum, and then just right. did right. 12 damage to the face with oh, the uh, Shadow Reaper. This is gonna be amazing. We're gonna see... We're gonna see a Heaven's Gate Colosseum High, maybe. Uh, I guess we won't see that Heaven's Gate Colosseum High combo, but we'll he see Heaven's Gate. This turn. He could skip this turn to get the Colosseum off. Uh, I guess he could, Ooh. yeah. Interesting. Is he gonna pull apple, apple that? Totally. Totally. I like, totally. I like, do, do you remember when I made the Cloud Giga stick as well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is kind of remind me of it for sure. Pixie mischief. Ouch. Oh, that's hurt. That's gotta hurt. Oh, that's rough. That's super rough. <laughs> All right, Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate's going on the field. Yeah. Or Mary Bane. Oh wait. Mary Bane is pretty solid. It's a good card. Wow. He could Evo the Cloud Gigas next turn to just get that uh, get that Colosseum on on the board. Oh, he could. He could. Yes. Oh, I remember this forest craft is a bounce forest with the Vigero. the Vigino Marsh. Oh, Vigino. And Homecoming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we didn't get to see the Vigano last time because he was only using the Elf Queen, right? No, no, no. He, he, got the, uh, he got the perfect starting hand. He got so much tempo at the beginning and just kept on clearing. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. The Reclusive Ponder. Soothing Spell. Oh, baby. So we're going to be seeing a v Lord of Vigano and the Homecoming combo, aren't we? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like that spicy. But what is that Marduk going to be doing, though, eh? I don't know. With the Heaven's Gate, you could reduce the Marduk and just see anything. Oh my god, he has to put out the Heaven's Gate scene for sure. Heaven's Gate Marduk, it's... <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That could that could open up a lot of potential. Please, please do it. I didn't get to see enough Marduk. Look at this gorgeous art though, you know? On the Marduk? I love it. Yeah. It's like What? It's, what? The combos from that forest. Huh. So he's using the, uh, what is it, the Accelerate effect to do 2 damage to all minions, to all enemies. Yeah. He could Evo the Cloud Gigas and the gob play the Goblin Mage and get the Heaven's Gate on the board. He could. That which, is which would leave a 2-2 two, two up. Yes. We're seeing the Heaven's Gate. We're seeing the Heaven's Gate. Good call. Okay. He's... Interesting. With a Lady Grey, you would probably want to keep that Evo. Hmm. Value trading. Oh yeah, right. Oh, the Maribane, of course. <laughs> we keep on forgetting about the Maribane, for sure. <laughs> There's so many weird things happening in these decks. For sure, for sure. Oh, that Vigena. He's oh, got the homecoming as well, that's gonna hurt. This is gonna be pretty good. And there's the Heaven's Gate as well, right? So he's gonna be having a reduced card cost as well for the Forest Craft. Which is, yeah, and that's a Cloud Giga reduced, that's not what you wanna see. Uh, what's he gonna do though? Mart, Call 
Coliseum on high? Really? Very risky, but I love it. I mean... And then the Mil Mil Teo Maybe? to hopefully get more Cloud Gigas. No? Nice. Okay, so he's got a 994 at least. He's got Angelic Smite, which really screws him yeah. over. Ooh. Wait, is this it? Not yet, but we're getting there. No, no, this Remember, he's got the Vegino effect, so there's no telling what they what, what they're capable of mm -hmm. in terms of burst damage. Like they got the deep off to get like at least two more damage. I feel like he could have won though. He could have just put out the um the airbound barrage. Right? And he was able And to... homecoming after. Oh, I guess next turn, I guess. Yeah, next turn he has homecoming. There's nothing you can do as a yeah, shadow player. Nothing. He could put out Gilnalise to um recover some health maybe. As in like um Yeah, he could put out Gilnalise. Whoa. What? Yeah, Elf Queen and Homecoming is it's game. That is game, yeah. But wow, Mil Teal has an effect that does. Wait, then if the enemy leader has seven defense or more, deals damage to the end. deal damage to them until their defense drops to six. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. Although they can't use that effect, other than uh, like they can't evolve the follower. I Normally, they have to play it at online or use Grimmery or something like that to evolve oh, it. I didn't it's basically that. like mono. Interesting. All right, so we are set up. We're just waiting for you, Punch. I mean, Lumi was didn't have three, but they they just DM me the, the other two decks before the tournament. Okay. So we're fine. Okay. All right. I guess we're gonna be surprised with more memes. Zerophy, the the Alice Shadow. Wait, what's that? No, the... Zerofi beat the Alley Shadow. I can't, yeah, I can't really remember until I see, like, the opening hands. <laughs> and Lumi is with that, with that ever-lurking, uh, Ominescent or Portal. Ominous shadow and Haven right. versus Rune and Forest. Now, this is a deck, Lumi has not used these decks before. Interesting. And Zerofi is sticking with, with their Shadow. Here we go, baby. Oh no, the, sh the Shadow won. Remember with the Bahamut? It is the Highlander Shadow and the Havencraft. Is it? Yeah. Man, there's just so many decks that I can't really remember all of them. But here we go, guys. The winner's final zero fee. Yeah, my final. Lumi. <laughs> what are we going to see, Punch? What are we going to see? Unbodied Witch. Unbodied Bahamut. Witch. What can it do? It's just unbodied Marta with the, um, what's it called? The, uh, Amula, the Starseer's Telescope? No way. Oh my god, I really want to see that. <laughs> I really want to see that. <laughs> I remember do being able to do maybe like 14 damage or something with Marduk once. But yeah. I, yeah, that was my luckiest, I think. <laughs> Yeah, you, you basically need um, Queen of the Dread Sea yeah. to get rid of your entire hand and then keep Unbodied Witch Marduk and then top deck the Starseer Telescope. That's right. That's the key for sure. Like You need to like throw away your hand. You need to discard your hand for the uh, telescopes. Yeah, you, you, you can force the uh, Marduk with the uh, Staircase of Paradise on the, t on the exact turn, oh. but it is so niche to pull off. You see... You can't draw the uh, Queen of the Dread Sea that way, or the Star, because you can only pull one. Because mm -hmm. so you're going to discard your hand with the with the Queen of the Dread Sea. Yes. Oh, he's got the he talked at the unbodied witch, but it looks like Shadowcraft is having a really good hand all the time. He's been able to bury a right the Dark Alice usually by turn two, turn three. Yeah, but facing against a, a, a seemingly a spell boost deck, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Like, how are you going to kill the, the Alice with the Fatal Order if they don't have a board? Hopefully he puts out the Flame Destroyer. Hopefully. 
Yeah, but the the first thing that's coming out is the Magic Owl for sure. Hundred percent. Yes. No... Yeah. It could be the Magic Owl and the Flame Destroyer. Not this early. On not turn, turn four. four. No, you don't think so? No, definitely not. Because it'll be at six. E yeah. Mm, well. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> Cause he like he still has the to evo the owl on four. Yeah. Like yeah, there's no... <laughs> no, there's no way it's gonna come out for sure. It might be coming out on turn five, I guess. Turn five is if if he boosts for it, but yeah. they're probably gonna wait until it costs less. Oh man, it seems like Shadowcraft needs his key card. So he needs a beta order and um what else is there? He needs a beta order for sure. <laughs> yeah, without the fader order the the deck isn't that powerful. Yes. But that fatal or order, like, I've never seen a Highlander deck like this <laughs> that uses Dark Alice to make it a Highlander, if you I know, know what I mean. Yeah, because, like, you see you see in his hand right now, you see two Jack Shovels, right? So he has... Yeah, but Alice will banish those. This is a genius deck concept, yeah, and I've never thought of that. This is very smart, for sure. And Putting out the Lady Grey seems... No, I think you want to keep that for an Evo point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he could, he might have, he may have put out the Jack Shovel for the 1 2 Bane. But against Spell Boost Varin, though, you know, they have a lot of removals, so. Yeah, you basically know if you play any anything single, it's going to get removed by Wind Blast, Fiery Embrace, whatever. It's going to get, it's going to get cleared. Yes. The only thing you can do is go wide. It seems like he's, uh, yeah. It seems like the Runecraft is just, uh, just getting ready for for the combo here. Unboxing yeah, but we don't know what the combo is yet. Yeah, he needs the Marta. He needs the Queen of the Dread Sea, like you're talking about for sure. Zealot gets burnt. All right. Earth essence concentration. <laughs> That overdraw every yeah. single time. Yeah. I think he I... could put out a flame destroyer if he you could. place the Clark in the fiery embrace. Oh, I see. You but... fiery embrace the bane and then you play the flame destroyer, or you pass. Oh, but that won't do. I would, I guess play, that... I would just flat play the Alice. Alice for sure. I would just play the Alice for sure too. Get your deck going, and then Evo the Lady Grey for a wide board, because Rune has trouble with wide. Yeah. And it's only turn 7, which means that the Unbodied Witch will have to wait. Oh man, the Unbodied... What is he going to do, though? I, I like it, though. I like it. I like what he's trying to you say. Don't, you don't know. But I like, I like him having his Unbodied Witch ready in his head. <laughs> Okay, so there comes a Dark Alice. I would Eve with the Lady Grey as well, but that's debatable. Because mm. you've got the Bahamut, you've got the Cherubane, you've got the, the Zeus, even though those are late players. Yeah, I would just I would just save the Evil for now, for sure. Here comes Koka. Okay. Oh, he has a way to banish it with Mystic oh. Absorption. That's harsh. Yeah, that's gonna be rough for sure. That's definitely. And he's gonna get the second. He's gonna fiery embrace the Lady Grey and probably verdict ritual the one two vein and then play another. <laughs> wow, this this just became really hard board for Shadowcraft to deal with. I remember Shadowcraft is not the most defensive deck. 100%. He could evo the Lady Grey for in hopes of getting the Shadow Reaper. Or the, you mean the shot, uh, yeah, what was it? The shot? Yeah, the Grave Digger. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. She could. And then he could, he could clear the other one with the uh, Savory Bash and trading yeah, his board into that. He also top decked the Lurging Corpse here, so that might be really good. Another Lurging Corpse. You have to, you have to eat with the Lady Grey and pray for RNG here, right? Come on, Grave Digger. I want to see that great digger. No. Okay. So oh, that's harsh. Yeah, he could that's really one hard. of the losses, but. 
Now we have Shadow seen on the back foot every single time with this deck. Yes, yes. But they always manage to pull it back. Yes. For one reason or the other. <laughs> but he doesn't have the Dark Alice this time, so it might be kind of hard. We'll see. We'll see. They always surprise me, though. They always surprise me with the craziest game stuff. <laughs> At this Shadowcraft, I don't care if it gets eliminated. It has proven itself time and time again. It did, for sure. Fiery Embrace, okay. Bait Sand, maybe Zealot of Truth as well. Probably. Yeah. Or you want to save that for the... Uh, oh, for the he... Embodied yeah. Wish, maybe. But it would still be... A full regular cost though, right? It won't be a zero cost. No, but you you have the unbody, which for ten reduction. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh, that's such unlucky. He could have fatal ordered for the dark Alice. Oh no, but he, he could still damage. fatal oh, order yeah. and test the strength. It saves him one more turn. That's true. That's true. That way, it 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 completely makes the uh, unbody which useless. Now, does because he see it, it, you can't go face if there's. Okay, yeah, I, I had a feeling he might go Catherine here though. Yeah. Yeah, just set, setting it up, making sure that he doesn't just pass and let the Alice get banished once again. Yes. He wants to kill his own Alice here. That's his only out. Okay, what's he gonna do? Kaleidoscope. Send the call oh, back. Okay. <laughs> Insight for sure. Would you though? Oh, okay. Evo the Chaos World first. And then Kyoka. Wow. A Kyoka for the Union Burst, of course. Kyoka's Union Burst is just cherry on top. She's a good card already, and she becomes... She becomes a beast, too, once with the Union Burst. Yeah. Now, you gotta keep in mind, this is to counter the Fatal Order plays. Because what, what do you do? He could she... play Bahamut here. No, that Bahamut is dead against Unbody, probably. You would put out the Dark Alice and the Test of Strength. Yeah, I mean, if he sees the cards, he... if he sees the opponent's cards, yeah. But then, for here, it's it's kind of hard he's... to deal with, for sure. I mean, yeah. He's played all the three uh, Banish already. Yes. Unbodied Witch, the Zealot of Truth. Unbodied Witch, yeah. Is he feeling a little bit guilty of doing it? <laughs> I would. <laughs> there it comes. Okay, so he's gonna evil that. That becomes five zealots. Wow, five zero cost zealots. No, because there's no board to evil in, and he has no evil he points. He has no evil points. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> so now he has to go for the Alice test of strength, or it's game over. It is, for sure. He knows it. And Rune has no burn damage whatsoever other than that one magic missile. Oh my god, how is he gonna deal with that? Oh my Clark? God. That's one damage off with the magic missile! Yeah. He could. He, what, is he gonna do yeah. another body body witch on Clark? Body witch on Clark, maybe? Exactly. Making sure you get the setup for next turn. So smart. Yeah, you play out the Zealous of Truth just because. Yeah. Now, are we gonna see another Catherine being pulled? <laughs> uh, boom them? Oh my god. That's not enough. That's not enough, but. It's that, not enough. That's a good top set, though. Wow, that was close. <laughs> That was close. That was close. Yeah. That Shadowcraft proving itself every single time <laughs> that it is a force to be reckoned with. Wow. Well played, well played. Well played. <laughs> but that's not it though. This is gonna be a best out of three, so he still has chances here. It you know that Shadow is going to put up a fight every single time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Wow, so that's one zero for, is that for Lumi, was it? Yes. That is Lumi indeed. Yes. I wonder what kind of Havencraft deck he has. I like the, I like the, uh, the leader he's using. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one from the Pina Colada that I missed out on. I have every single leader, basically, except that one. Uh... And it really triggered me. <laughs> like, I believe I have seven pages of Haven leaders. I'm not even kidding. Jesus, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got our round two here with Lumi versus Zero Fee. We got a Force Cast versus Havencraft. <laughs> I've never seen King that. Elephant. King I already know what this is. <laughs> we both know. Oh, oh, there's the wolf. The wolf? Is it the Loki wolf? <laughs> the Loki wolf elephant? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> He's probably using that fertile Aether for one reason, and it is Arya's wind. Yeah, yeah. What is this deck here? Probably Neutral Haven. Oh, with the eagle. I see a spirit. I see actress Feria. Yeah. Excuse me. It might actually be Lion of the Golden City with Titanic Showdown. Oh yeah, we haven't seen any Titanic Showdown yet. We saw. We one. have, but it we lost. Saw, yeah, we saw one, but they lost. Yeah. What was it? Oh yeah, it was the uh, the Swordcraft. Yeah, the Swordcraft with the Noble. That's that was so- Honestly, out of all the decks that should have won, it was that Noble Swordcraft, because that was the big surprise that game. Definitely, it, that was definitely a janky, janky meme. <laughs> but the mid-range it had, but that- Oh my, that was perfect. It was. I just feel very unfortunate for him. Like, his chariots did not hit the enemy face at all. <laughs> no, no, that was a different- that was the chariot for- I was talking about the support cannon. The noble. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was that too. <laughs> that was the deck I was talking about. Yes. That yes. was the. Now I must say that the Havencraft is really get getting bad luck with two Ferens in hand. Yeah. What is he gonna do here? He could put up the Goblin Pack, I guess. And you probably want to save that for six. Yeah. Get that neutral count going. I see. You want to save that until you have an Eagle Man in hand. Oh. He might put up the Destiny Wing or into the Living Blast. Interesting. So he has four Wind Gods. <laughs> I mean, sorry, three. Yeah, three Wind Gods. Yeah, but he has got, he's probably got another one in his deck. Yeah. Because we've seen Golden Crab. 100%. <laughs> I never thought I would say the words. We've seen Golden Crab already. I can't believe it's in Winner's Finals. <laughs> And seeing a return here, like, where did this meta come from? And where can we get more? Oh my god, if it wins the Grand Finals, man, I am I'm seriously gonna just go... I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm deleting all my decks and, and replacing them all with Goblin Crafts, I swear. <laughs> this is a really good Faria board. Wow, Faria? That's a really good Faria board for sure. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't seen... You just go pay her, right? I haven't seen Actress Fairy in a while, but he, it seems like he's going to be dealing with the... Okay, no. He's, he's, it seems like he's going to go face. Yeah, you would just go face. If he, if he doesn't have the win, this is a terrible board to deal with. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could probably get May off because he has this two zero cost. Ooh. That's going to do a lot. Probably misplayed, because if he airbound barrage the uh, Venus first, he would guarantee kill. You're right, you're right, yeah. Uh, he can trade airbound barrage and then uh, harvest festival. Yeah, I guess I would... But that I... could have been played better. You're right. Combo Forcecraft is hard to play. Yeah, there's so many combos that you could do, I guess, eh? Yeah, I mean, I, I've mained it for a very long time with the Primal Giant, so... Mm. <laughs> I'm way, way more experienced than I'd like to admit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Forest was definitely one of my favorite favorite classes as well. Like, I remember, like, I, I don't know if you've seen the, the video about me. Like, the opponent has five Mordecais on board and I beat them in the long game <laughs> without banishing a single one. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
Like with with forest. Yeah. Sometimes it just happens, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, forest has a good end game for sure, late game. What's he gonna do here? Elf. You probably airbun barrage one of the elf child's mate. I see. Or nope. The... No. Oh, it seems like. <laughs> Uh, this Elf Queen is definitely seeing play this turn. <laughs> 100%. One of the best cards for sure. One of the most solid cards. Like, you, you would have airbound Barrage a Elf Child May a lot earlier and then deboot Wolf and then play out the Elf Child May. Is he gonna Evo that? Oh, okay. No, right. you can just. Right. And then I would deboot Wolf the, uh, the Queen as well to get it back into your hand because it's a solid removal. Especially since he's revealed that he's neutral goblin. Mm -hmm. Wait, is he a neutral goblin? Like, in terms of decks, this is probably what it looks like. What like, th this Haven player, all it does is go wide for yeah, now. Yeah, it seems like it. We, we haven't seen the end game, but then in the, against that kind of an opponent, you would like to keep your... Uh, removal in hand, which is the queen, for mm -hmm. sure. Another into the lane. Another Baron. Yeah. He could put that out. Just, just play it. Yeah. He's got a plenty white board already. You know what? You know what I would love? I would love him to do a star bright deity and then get get more wood gods and put five wind gods out. <laughs> What a top deck! Another Elf Queen, but we're Another. seeing the, 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 the wolf, and now they have to be... Now they have to be thinking, what the hell is this? What we is could it? see another wolf next turn. But that that would probably mean killing yourself. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He has to use Area's Wind, I think, next turn, maybe. You could probably use uh, Selganea, uh, oh, Elf okay. Child May, Area's Wind, and you would clear everything and heal up. That's right, yeah, he could use his Elginias for sure. Like, you would tell Ganea that, and then everything else dies if you also play uh, Elf Child May. Or, I guess he could do Elf Queen Abundant Life, and then Zalgania. Or, wait, no, no. No, that's too much help. Yeah, wow, there it is, the King Elephant. Zero cost King Elephant. Zero, yeah. Yeah. So he now just... he has everything in hand. It's just a matter of do you want to play the cell and burn two cards? Mm -hmm. Now, what would you do in this situation? This is hard. I mean, I would have to go for the root. Well, yeah, I would have to deal with the seven five and the four two at least. I would straight up play the cell. Zell, yeah. And then play the deep the fertile nice. aether actually, that's way better than the uh bounce. Deep wood wolf on the NGT. Fertile aether. Oh, he's just gonna play out. Uh, okay. Just yeah. gonna play out uh, straight. Yeah, so next turn he might be able to have a lethal, I think. Yeah. He has an evil point, that is 20 damage. Yeah. But we see the realm of repose over there. Ooh, if he puts that out, <laughs> that would be pretty smart. But there it comes. No! Back. He comes. has seen the gray wolf and doesn't go for the repose on turn 10. It's mm. unfortunate, but I think we're going to be seeing double king elephants here. We'll see. Is it going to be enough? Nine. Yeah, that's enough. He has an EVO point. With an EVO point, that's exactly 20 damage. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> Good game! Good game! Well played. Well played. Once again, we're seeing less and less BM emotes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. A lot of people are probably getting sweaty hands going to the Wonders panels now. What is that? Is that... Oh, it's 2-0 oh, for Lumi. Lumi is in the finals. Well played. 
He does have the Shadowverse open in January 2019 championship. I said it at the beginning, didn't I? <laughs> We're seeing a champion right here. We're seeing a finalist right at the beginning. Oh, man, but I have all my monies on the Goblin Dragon deck. <laughs> It's, it might be it might be eliminated next game. We don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty nice. Okay, let's go. We're in here. Uh, wait. Honestly, the the Goblin Dragon. We all thought it was gone. It was gone round one. It's still here. For sure, I I admit it. For sure, I'm just like, oh, Goblin Dragon. Oh, they're not gonna win, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> We've even seen a spinoff in the previous round yeah. with Goblin Hayden. They won twice already. Who's who knows? It might get to go to get to the grand finals. <laughs> <laughs> who knows what's gonna happen? Honestly, I think the, the the top two decks with selection. I had the Ruin Web Spider as my absolute favorite, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but right now it is definitely the uh, the Shadowcraft with the Dark Alice and the uh, the the Goblin Dragoncraft. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> We're seeing someone scared of the Golden Dragon Crest. They're not bringing that. What? Did he so the ban? Did he ban the, the Golden Dragon? The opponent must have said we're not playing Golden Dragon Crest. I'm scared of Golden Dragon Crest. Wow, okay, so we got our round two of the winner's finals. We got Bet Rape versus Unnamed Hero 7. It's gonna be Force Gap versus uh, Rune Crest. This is the Balanced Forest that we've already seen. The Balanced Forest. The Bounce Forest with the uh, uh, Yeah. And what do we have? Oh, we might be seeing. What is this? Like a. A Mark PTP Duke? Golem. A PTP Golem. Okay. Okay, I like that. I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It could be a Dirt Mage, but who knows? Lumi is definitely going to like who's gonna face Lumi in the finals here, I wonder. Oh man, it's either gonna be this it's either gonna be Bat Rave or Unnamed Hero. I don't know who's gonna win this one, but it's gonna be a pretty spicy one for sure. We got the Vajano in his hand already. Are we gonna see a scrap golem and early or a calcum golem? That I mean he has two he has two golems in his hand. I would I would have used it, I think. You would have gone for it, but you would be out of fuel completely. Mm. Or this might be a Faust deck. If Faust. this is a Faust deck, respect. I don't remember seeing it. Actually, Faust, but that would be amazing as well. The Creative Conjurer. No, I guess you I would play the 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 or Calcum Golem and then Creative Conjurer probably. Yeah, that would be a good call, I think. No, keeping okay. keeping the keeping the get the golems. Mm -hmm. Interesting play. I, I like your play more. I think I like I would have done the Oracle Golem to a creative conjurer. Interesting. Airbound barrage. Another Kokoro on the field. Primal Giants. Okay. It seems like uh, the Runecraft has a pretty uh dried up hand at the moment yeah and meanwhile the forest craft is just look at that hand size up compare it already yes yes force is just big gathering resources and just slightly managing the board mm -hmm. is he going to use the creative conjure first probably magical augmentation and a creative conjure okay the goal is no there. interesting I guess he could put out the golem next turn. He might he might Evo at next turn. Pixie Mischief. Ooh, that's yeah. that's really lucky for him. That's really lucky. Yeah. Because that fanfare of the creative conjurer is definitely what you need in this game. 100%. He has no cards in his hand. Any fanfare that can give him fuel or anything yes. is what you were looking for. So I guess I would put out the golem here for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I just flat, flat play the golem. Get those two earth essences with the last word. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And... Although this is against bound forest, you might be a little bit, bit worried that might go back into your hand. That's true. The pixie mischief and such. Hopefully he doesn't have any more. Hopefully he doesn't top deck it, but we'll see. I guess. He doesn't know what he's got in his hand. Ooh. He's got a lot of hand. He's got a lot of cards in his hand. The Forest Craft player. 
Yeah, they've they've just been quietly gathering drawing cards. Yes. <laughs> and I think it's gonna pay off in the long game because Rune is just on his final legs. The entire it's just top decking, top decking, keeping going, mm -hmm. but it's not keeping up as tempo as much as much as it should. Yeah. Oh, there's that pixie mischief. And there's the Elf Queen once again doing work. Elf Queen. <laughs> too good. I, Elf Queen really you know, is too I'm, good. I'm starting to wonder, like, we should have probably banned Elf Queen and the world. <laughs> Maybe not. No. The, the world I mean, that, fun, like, I guess. they are definitely cards that enable memes, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Is he gonna I would just play Scrap Golem and then Eric or Calcum Golem. Yeah, for sure. Get hopefully, if I were him, I would hopefully get a lot of go golems on board because it's just one turn away from the uh, home. Ooh, the six damage to the face. Six damage to the face, though. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. He has another or uh, golem. But, uh... but I used to love that about golem, though. You know how like uh, there was a. Uh... There is Mysteria Lady that gives you plus one magic damage. Oh yeah, the M M Mystic Founder. Yeah, magic Founder. Right. Yeah, Mystic Founder and the Golem was such a fun combo. <gasps> oh, oh, that's that's pretty good. Okay, still gonna go with the the Golem here. Now, honestly. The, all the times I've seen this forest deck, it has been strong in the early game as well as in the late game because of the bounce. Yes, yes. It has been pretty solid. I haven't seen this deck ever used in a meta scenario, but it's definitely showing that it, it can take it to the big games. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess yeah. if it's like a slow, I guess, control game, it, it has a lot of favors to it, for sure. Yeah. It, ha it, it just has... As a calm early game, and then the <laughs> continuous tempo that you have to deal with. Yes, maybe until that. that... Sorry, go ahead. Until that, like the end game with that bounce forest, where it just gives you that bit of chip damage that you need. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the reason why he uh, banned the the goblin dragon deck because there's too much. Yeah, because because like. The, the, the forest, it doesn't start on turn one, it starts on turn three, four. Pretty much, yeah. And he, he, he might be scared that the Evos is just going to be too much, because right now he can just play the Vajero and seal the game. He could probably, yeah, he could pretty much put that out. Uh, return the, the five, six golem, I guess. No, you return the zero two, so you can't activate the fanfare once again. You know that he's got two Witches Snaps and an Earth Essence out of those three cards. I see. Because you've seen it happen. I see, I see. And this is probably the game sealed. Yes. Wait a second. What do you see here? Yeah, this there's no way. Like you pixie mischief and you're gone. Yeah. Pixie Mischief and you're gone. Pixie Mischief and... That's it. And... Because you return your your own card, that's two damage. You return the opponent's follower, that's two damage. Oh, that's game. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Right, Pixie Mischief does four damage. Uh, that's so good. <laughs> well played. This fort. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. No, no, well played. I was just going to say, man, this forest is super solid. <laughs> I didn't think we'd actually see a meta deck in play. <laughs> this is this is actually becoming meta right now. I guess it's considered a little bit, yeah. I mean, it's a super solid deck, but man, we'll, we'll see how it goes, I guess. It, I, I didn't think that we would have a deck that is solid early, mid-game, and end-game. Yeah. It, it was supposed to be a meme. Like, you're going to pick either of the three and just go full <laughs> at it and then break and then just cry yourself to sleep. But this is not what I expected. <laughs> it is pretty solid, for sure. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how... I mean, we still have another game. It's best out of three, so... Unnamed Heroes has two more chances to uh, win this. Wow.
this is honestly this whole tournament it's such a spicy tournament <laughs> it has been it has been for sure and since game one i'm just like what i thought the memes are not gonna work but you know what like majority of the memes are working for sure <laughs> Oh, we got the Bloodcraft versus Shadowcraft here. Ania versus Mono. I think these are going to be some new decks that we're going to be seeing. It might be a person deck on the Shadowcraft, uh, the Bloodcraft. It might be. They're they're using the amulets. The deep. Oh, is this a demon key, Bloody Mary? Bloody Mary. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Have you ever seen it? Yes, I've I've tried it as well. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Wait a minute. It has been my channel trader for about two years or so. Yeah. Do you see that? Do you see that punch? We see an animated Demon Lord Ektar in a meme tournament. <laughs> That's just a show of how much stronger the meta has gotten over the time. <laughs> yeah. Plague City! With a Nephthys. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Demon Key is coming up. Is, yeah. is this a spawn demon key or a bloody mary demon key? I don't know, but we're, we might be seeing two demon keys. I would totally double it. Like, this this probably shows if he goes double demon key, it's not bloody mary. But he doesn't have any cards yeah. in his hand. Yeah, this is bloody mary, because otherwise he would just double it up. He's still looking for that Bloody Mary. Yeah. That's is. a problem with this deck, is that it is incredibly janky. So oh, Soul Dealer? No, that... Yeah, he needs a Bloody Mary. <laughs> he needs a Bloody Mary now. If I were him, I would probably play the EO to heal up to full for that uh, Soul Dealer to just go BAM into the face. I feel like I would have put out Bear Pelt as well there. You would have? Yeah, so you, you could restore two defense to your leader. Yeah, but doesn't it damage your leader as well? You want to keep that key uh, up in the count until you have Bloody Mary. Yeah? Because if you don't have Bloody Mary and the key activates, you're going to cry yourself to sleep. Trust me, I've been there way too many times. <laughs> yeah, you're right, for sure. <laughs> you want to keep that count going until, until you have to. You're not going to damage your own leader this turn. No. You... You're, you're gonna play the Vampiric Bloodbind the next turn, and hopefully get Bloody Mary. That's mm. that's what I would do. I see, yeah, I think he's going Or you would rely on your second key. Right now the key will activate before the Bloodbinder. Yes, so he's gonna get the Soul Dealer out, I guess. Next he's turn. gonna get the Soul Dealer out and revealing what he's trying to do to his opponent. Yeah. Another Robo Zombie. A death. Yeah, that threat might be pretty nice here. I think the opponent is playing Zombie Craft. Plague City, Death Breath, Ektar. Okay, a Zombie Craft. Interesting. He has a Nephthys for turn 8. And he has running like Robo Zombie. You see where I'm going with this? This is the new new hmm. successor to Goblin Craft. Zombie <laughs> deck. I see. I see the theme now. I think we are all to figure out. I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> Oh wow, what a nice EO there. To be fair, he doesn't know that the Plague City is coming. It doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, this key is on one already. He's gonna rely on it for next turn. Top deck? I would not have done that. Or he's gonna try to burn him down because he can't with the demon key. Oh, there comes it. Maybe Ektar. I would play Plague City to deny those last words. But then again, you're on 9 health. I never really realized how cool an evolved actor looks like. Actor, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like, like him and at the same time I hate him so much, the actor. <laughs> yeah, but he, like, I didn't know his, his animated evolve was so cool. It does look pretty cool. <laughs> oh? What's he gonna do? Turn 6? I mean, 6. You would have saved that for an. Like, to go face the uh, Race Recall. Madness? Madness Recall? Okay. Nightfall. Wow, he 
he needs. He needs Are we gonna see Neptis here? Neptis? No. No. That's a shame. Although it does deny the storm on the. No, actually it doesn't. He's at the end of his turn, so that means he still has the storming zombies. Oh. It also makes a gift for Bloodkin. Oh, <gasps> that's not enough. Oh, no, he's, he's got too bad of a hand. Yeah. Oh, the Wind God, okay. So if he has... <laughs> wind God, you mean zombie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He doesn't have the necromancy. I thought he had the necromancy for a moment. Oh, man, this is... Who knows who's going to win still? Why well, is the top, is the top deck is Bloody Mary? Uh, no, because there's Plague City. Uh-oh. But if he had Razory Claw, he could have won. <gasps> There's oh. the bloody. <laughs> it's not enough. It's not enough. You would play the Contemptuous Demon. Yeah, for sure. Get the... oh. Yeah. He's no, actually. Play City. Fearin. Okay, so if he can't win here, he could do the Bloody Mary gift with Bloodkin combo and he could win. Yeah, that is six damage. Yeah. Oh my god, I think he got this. Oh my god, I think the Bloody Mary won this. No, out of nowhere. Wow. What a close game. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Who would have thought? Seriously. This is why I love this meme, man. Like, it's so unexpected. Like, if it's just like a solid, normal tournament, you would see what would happen. Yeah. But this is like, unexpected. There we go, we got yeah, it. Is so yeah. Oh, that is 2 0 from Bat Rave. That is 2 0 from Bat Rave. Wow. <laughs> Good We're seeing the Goblin Craft not getting in the, in the game and then completely shutting down the player. That Goblin Craft is what carried. Yeah. Both of our favorite decks are out, <laughs> the Shadow and the Goblin. It's too bad we couldn't see the Goblin Dragon, but Punch. We couldn't see Goblin versus Alice no. in the final. <laughs> but Punch, we got, we got the Grand Finals now. All right, he Orb is banned and Farshra is banned. Interesting. The bounce part. Interesting. I mean, those were pretty, pretty good decks. For sure. Yeah, the, those were the uh, yeah the forest is banned. Yeah. That forest is a scary deck to be that honest. If scary. I were to go against either one of them, I would totally ban forest. I agree. I concur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a portal craft. Wait. A forest craft. He didn't ban your orb. He... <laughs> he banned rune. Yeah, that, that's the one I would ban as well. The spell with rune. Mm -hmm. So we've got dragon and blood. Yeah. With the, the we've got the bloody mary. The bloody mary. That's Our, right. I don't. And we've got the uh, the, the forest craft. I I forgot which I it was. I don't remember seeing the sleeve, so this might be new. No, 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 they, they you oh, the Dragoncraft is new. The Dragoncraft is new. Dragoncraft is new for sure. I but the, the other one, they were played. Really? The Forestcraft as well? Yeah, the Forestcraft is played as well. Alright, I guess we'll see. Let's go. Yep, yeah, I'm ready. Alright. Good luck in the finals, guys. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Let's see. Let's see who's going to get the number one of this meme glory. No number one yet. Yeah, best out of three, though. I mean. There's still an end game to this. Mm -hmm. This world is brutal. Right, let's go. Bloodcraft versus Portacraft. Who would have thought we're going to see Bloodcraft versus Portacraft in Grand Finals with a meme deck? So it's going to be a Bloody Mary versus uh, Silva? Silva Puppet, I guess it was? Oh, yeah. No, no, Silva Puppet lost. Oh, what is this? This thing? is the uh, orb, the orb portal. Oh, right. So he banned the ruin, but not the orb. Yeah. Gotcha. 
So he probably wants the orb in his hand. There it is. Wow. That he's got the orb on turn one every that single game so that, far. That is that's too good. That's too too good of a luck for sure. To be honest, that's why you're here in the finals. Yeah. Let's <laughs> face it. Now we we do see the demon key from Bloodcraft, but we don't see any card draw to go with it, yeah, and that is arrows. really rough. That but, is really rough for Bloodcraft to not have any card draw I in would, uh, Bloody Mary. I would. You need out... that. Yes. I would put out the demon key on turn three, though. Like, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, oh, <laughs> he's got a razory claw already. Top deck Bloody Mary. Now you don't want to accelerate this too soon because if you get it on turn two, you don't, you can't play enough cards to combo with it. You want to wait until turn six for sure, or seven, for sure. and then then you have the ultimate burst damage. You can easily burst him down from twenty. Oh, the creepy mat as well. That's really good. Yeah. The, oh, he's. Oh, what Another is he doing? One. Hold on to your hand, man. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see this very OTK. He want, he, he, I don't know, he felt he felt that uh the need for sure. <laughs> he felt kinda of Watch him watch him draw a soul dealer now and just realize I've just I've just fucked myself. Yeah. So what does that contemptus demon do again? If Wrath is active for you, gain the ability to evolve for zero evolution effects. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to your leader. I see. Oh I would just pass, just pass. Just let it slip for one more turn. Really? Just let it sit. Yeah. There's there the orb is. coming. Yep. Is it gonna be on time though to, to just stop this Bloody Mary train? It's gonna come out on turn seven at least. Yeah. Yeah. It like won't be he next would... turn, I don't think. It could be. No, no, no. It could you be. You could just evo. No, you wanna keep the Bloody Mary. I would evo the Vampiric Bloodbinder. Get that extra fuel going, because as a Bloody Mary card, that's two play points for one damage. That's not enough. Because mm. Razory Claw is two play points for five damage. That's the kind of number you're looking yes. for. Yes. You want to see play points to damage, and if it's over two, twice the damage as the play point, you want to keep it. If it's the same number, you want to use it up. Okay, so it seems like he's going to keep the antelope. And the Bloody Mary is going to be coming out next turn. He's going to have seven play points. We'll see if he could uh, kill the mini, uh, kill the player. Here. Now, what is interesting? You could clear his board and then kill the avatar, making the orb completely useless. Oh, never mind. He evoed. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is it. Burst or dead? <laughs> Does he have it though? Oh wow! Wicked pack. Wow. What? Seven Wicked up? Pack? Yeah? Because Vengeance wasn't active. Yeah, but I don't think it's enough. Contemptuous Demon? I mean, he doesn't have lethal on... He, do he does. He needs to kill that 5-7 or he's gone. Yeah. That's, think... that's restoring 5. Ah, uh, I don't think he could beat it. Yeah. <laughs> No, deep. almost. Almost though, wow. What a burst of damage, but that few, that no card draw in the beginning of the game cost him in the end. If he had card draw, he would have had another race recall to boost it up. Maybe, yeah. Wow, that did the 7 damage though, that was insane. What was it? What was that card called? 7 damage. Yeah. It, it destroys an enemy follower. Mm -hmm. If Vengeance is active for you, deal 1 damage to the enemy leader. If Vengeance is not active for you, deal dam damage equal to your leader to the defense of the enemy you destroyed. Wow. I so see. if you destroy an enemy Zeus with 10 health, yeah. you would do 10 damage to your own leader if you don't have Vengeance. Wow, that is a really good card for Bloody Mary. I never realized that. But we are getting into <laughs> game 2 now. Okay, let's do these, this. These are the optimized memes right now. Yeah. <laughs> What are we this see? this was a perfect like that was a perfect game. They both got off their combo. Pretty much, yeah, they did. Yeah, the orbit desecration and the bloody mary. But we have a dragon cap with force craft now. Yeah, this was the uh, king elephant deck that you can remember. Oh, 
Do you remember now? Yes, I do. I do. The, uh, now, the... we've, we've seen a Dragoncraft with two oracles at the beginning of their hand. Yeah, we saw I remember the well. favorite leader. <laughs> what is this going to be? I think this one was uh, the Titanic Showdown deck. We haven't seen this dragon yet. Yeah, but I think I've seen it in the, the deck list, though. It might be. It might be, yeah. Uh, I think there was like a ramp to like a oh, legendary fighter. Interesting. Is he going to make the same mistake that the previous dragon player made? <laughs> well, he does have a lot of ramp cards. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have any draw. Yes. Other than that oracle. Yep. Oh my... Learn to play. Pa oh, this, this is the, this is a alpha deck. I remember. Oh. Dramatic, dramatic dragon blader. Dramatic. Now that's really unfortunate to play against the uh, against against Ifichero. Another legendary fighter. What is this deck? It's alta. But then, if you want. If you have a legendary fighter, I guess Alta is kind of useless for. A no, because those are all effects. You, when it is in play, <gasps> you play an amulet. When it is in play, you play a spell. When it is in play, you evolve a follower. You're right, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Then you play another legendary fighter and evo that. <laughs> I know a little bit of Japanese, but not that much. <laughs> I love the Japanese voice actors in Shadowverse. They do a really good job, for sure. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And to be honest, the English voice actors as well, they're better than the English voice actors in anime. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I do agree with that. <laughs> I do agree with that. But we have a Wandering Bard Elta, an animated Wandering Bard Elta in the sand. He could put out the Elta legendary skipping. Wow, this is this is a totally meme tournament. Skipping a turn seven. You don't do that any other place in a meme tournament. He's probably keeping his fuel. He's pretty much burned out right now. Yes, yes. So he could... What is he going to do? Curse Fuhrer, I guess? This is looking pretty spicy yeah. for the Dragon Cat at the moment. Or are we going to see a surprise Kronos Dread? Like Kronos Dread C combo <laughs> that I've, I've run a few oh, times. Genesis Dragon, okay. I mean, it's not a mean card, but he definitely needed something. And that's a good card to have, for sure. I mean, it is a good follow-up if you want to Curse Fervor in this turn. Yes. And then maybe get the Alpha Dramatic Dragon later up. That is a pretty good follow-up. Yeah, he might be going for the win here. Ooh. He knows that King Alpha... I think what he's trying to do is he makes sure that there's no board for that wolf to kill itself in. Mm, I see, I see. Yeah, I guess you're right, yeah. Because gonna... he knows that without a wolf, they can't kill. He's gonna put out the Genesis Dragon here, though, I think. That would completely ruin the, the turns you've played before that. Yeah. Okay, Alta? To... You would have played the Legendary Fighter first, right? Yeah, Dramatic Dragon Blader? Disdain? He's keeping the legendary fighter, but what for? Interesting. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the white wolf is gonna be. Oh! Yeah, exactly. This is what I mean. Like. Yeah, hopefully he has if you, if you want... Go ahead. What if he only runs two elephants yeah, and no that... Mystic Ring? I was just thinking that too. Like, what if he doesn't have another third elephant? He might be screwed. Actually! Elephant is a fanfare effect. He has Airbound Barrage, but... He can't... Oh, he's got third. Right, right, okay, okay, so... He could still do Elf Clean. He needs 13 that... I think he ha He could clean this for sure. He could clean this. Yeah, but he might have to spend his Zero Cost Elephant for that. No, I don't think so. He could do... Um... Yeah, if he does Elf Queen, the Elephant yeah. isn't OTK anymore. He needs Elf that Evo Point. Airbound. Oh, you're right. 
Like he's probably gonna rely on May and a lucky hit. Fanfare doesn't activate, no card draw. And also the right. Terran trees don't oh have card draw. Oh my god, he probably thought he's gonna get that fanfare. Yeah. Oh. You would probably put out the King Elephant here, just to get that first damage going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see your Hold opponent up. has two cards. He could use the main eagers, okay. I guess he could use the elephant now. Good. Oh man. Oracle. Oh man. Legendary <laughs> fighter. Kurt <laughs> Fervor. Yeah, he's gonna use and all his cards. Now, King Elephant is t is too <laughs> awful <of> lethal. <laughs> Actually, more. Zalgir no. as well. That card is so good. Now we know it is lethal now because of Zalganea. Yeah, that's so good. Wow. How many surprise Zalganeas have we seen this tournament? Oh, we we seen too many. We seen too many Zalganeas for sure. <laughs> Wow. Normally they, they're only used for healing, but this time the Zelganea effect has actually done so many things. Is that is that it? That is it. We're on to the finals. Is, We're up against Lumi. Is Lumi the winner? Holy congratulations, yeah. Lumi, to getting the number one in this world tournament for Kula Games. Not quite yet, though. No, no, he won. Because we have something special. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, he won the tournament, though, right? <laughs> we won, he won the tournament, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Lumi. Lumi is your top winner for this number one meme tournament, guys. <laughs> wow. Seriously, the, pow the power of pro player, man. <laughs> <laughs> The 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 of course, we, we would bring accidentally a pro player to the tournament and yeah. they would still end up winning. <laughs> I said it game one though, we've brought two pro players and one of them is gonna win this. Oh my god. Well played though, man. Lumi, well played. Well played. Really well played. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, thank you. That was, that was great games, man. That was a blast. Yeah. That was... <laughs> Like, seriously, thank you to everyone who came up to either watch us, join us in, or just have a great time with this. It was so fun. Thank you so much for participating, guys. And thank you to, so much to the mods as well. And Punch, thank you so much for everything. <laughs> thank you as well. And like, seriously, yeah. I, I, I'm i glad that I, I was able to host this with you rather than someone else. <laughs> no, seriously. You were amazing. Thank it was you. fun. It was definitely fun. I mean, you know, we should do... A video shortly about like behind the scene on like our our stress and like just like oh no talk. <laughs> no we're not gonna explain both our living situation <laughs> and all the internet no no I'm not starting on that I'm sorry no you don't want to do behind the scenes <laughs> but that's fine okay anywho GG's <laughs> all right. see ya I think and that is gonna be watching. it yeah I'm gonna stop my stream here thank you so much guys Jenny, and congratulations to Lumi for being number one. Omedito gozaimasu.